one of the bigger um, reports coming from this gymnasium is uh, balls of light. Um, trying to blind you, Carol. Uh, balls of light that comes from this building. Purple, blue, green, white, all kinds of colors of lights have been seen inside this building from outside and have seen leaving the building. It doesn't seem very active tonight. So they have over 10,000 documented deaths on property, pretty much murders. Uh, there's over 2,000 people buried on property. Um, the prison shut down around 2009. It's still in really good shape. Uh, you can see the basketball goal there. You can see the whole, this over here is the area. This over here is the whole area where we're gonna go here after a while, where the pedophiles and the highly secured death row prisoners were. Uh, up in this area is where one of the inmates, a spirit, can, will smoke a cigarette and you can... You see that too? I just saw that. I just saw that on camera. Guys, can y'all confirm this right here? Something just moved. It was a white light right here as my... As my I was pointing up here and there was a white light that shot right here. Can anybody look back on this video? I just saw it. See earlier? I just seen it go across that one too, didn't he? Or is it the flashlight from Alex? Uh, Mom said yes, saw it. It was right here at this sign, and my flashlight was out here. Joy saw it. It's about to get interesting, folks. Thank you guys for joining us. Hopefully we don't lose signal in here. Hopefully we do not lose signal in here. What? Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. Museum, theater, and hole. Good call. I got a feeling we're about to go downstairs. Hole. Okay. That's great. They even label it. I know. Oh, it's much, much quieter down here. So it looks like you were facing. Is this where they kept Kirk Cameron? Wow. Did she say they used to hang them by their thumbs? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I didn't just hear that. What's right in there? there? No, unit team staff only. It's the holding room. Staff only. Yeah. Oh, I know, I know what that chair was for. Anybody else want to guess how that chair torture went? Does anybody recognize what that's for? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. To use the bathroom? No. They would take men remove their pants, their underwear, you know what would hang through and they would slap underneath the chair for torture. With rocks. Oh. With rocks. Yeah, that's that's the real deal. That's, oh. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Here it is. What we got? The hole. It's called Hell on Earth. Oh, this reminds me of the insane men's ward. I want y'all to see how wide the door is. Like, wall, wall. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that, guys. Like I said, I got a feeling signal's going to be a little wonky down here. See if we can try this again. This time I won't go in the cell with Jay. <clears throat>
it'd probably be better if I stay right here by this door. I'm going to sit down right here. Do y'all have any devices set up by, by chance or no? I'll give you guys some light. I'm going to stay out here so I can keep signal. Yeah, yeah, that'll be good. Uh, Linda, yes, they, they do daytime tours here. The lady actually told us that one of the cell blocks they shut down because they cannot have a daytime tour without someone using the bathroom in one of the cells. So back here, there's one, two, three, four cells, and each cell is about it's five feet wide. I can't straighten my arms out. So Jay says there's five cells back there about the width of his arms, five feet. Four cells, five feet wide. That's Like I said, whenever I do this, I'm like here, touching the walls, like right here. And then there may be 10 feet as you walk in, they're 10 feet deep. All right, so that's, that's pretty confined. Pretty confined. Five by 10. Imagine you're standing on a piece of plywood. That's yep. essentially. And then being in there with six people with two buckets. Yep. So they would have two buckets in there, and at times in those in those five by ten cells, sometimes would have six people in them. They said that some people were in solitary confinement for so long from the darkness they went blind. They went blind, and that's typical. So I'm going to cut out my light. You guys see what you're looking down, solitary confinement hallway. We've got a few team members back in there with some equipment. Everybody can hear everybody. We have any spirits down here that's in solitary confinement that would like to make a sound or a noise to let us know you're here? I'm sure you see those purple lights on the floor. None of these devices will hurt you. All you need to do is walk down that wire or across that wire and it will turn it different colors to let us know that you're here tell us what it was like in this prison are you buried on property We don't hear we don't hear anything. So they're hearing a screeching sound. All three of them are hearing it back in the cells. No, this this thing is just a flow of air. It's not like what was that? It sounded like a train. Was that Alex? No, it sounded like it came from in there. It sounded like a, a miniature choo-choo train. Yes. Yes. Thank you for that noise. Can you do that again? Mark that on the recorder, please. Jay, is it that air condition right there? Because there's one out here too, but it's not running.
Like the buzzing sound? Yeah. Yeah. 